Chapter 9 Tourism, Transport and Communication Let's look at the tourism in Brazil. Clean and white sand beaches, attractive sea coast, beautiful islands, orchards, deep dense forest of Amazon, various birds and animals. These factors attract lots of international tourists to Brazil. The new capital city of Brasilia is also a tourist attraction. Cities like Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo are large cities which attract lots of tourists. Tourism is an important economic activity in several regions in the country. Looking at the sensitivity of the natural resources in Brazil, ecotourism is developing at a faster rate in Brazil. Now let's look at the tourism in India. The number of international tourists in India is constantly growing and this number has spiked since 2010. Foreign tourists visit India for heritage, adventure, cultural, health and business tourism. Ecotourism is also being given boost in India. Considering the heritage of India, there are plenty of opportunities for tourism in many parts of the country. Comparative study of tourism sector in India The number of international tourists visiting India in 2015 is more than that of Brazil. But still, the share of tourism sector in GDP in India is less than that of Brazil. Apart from this, the proportion of Indian population engaged in tourism proportion is higher than Brazil. The population of India is more than Brazil and so is its GDP. As the GDP of India is higher than Brazil and so also its population, therefore the contribution of tourism to GDP appears lesser than Brazil and population engagement seems higher. Now we move on to the transportation system of Brazil. The most common method of transportation in Brazil is roadways. Roadways account for more than half of transportation system in the country. But the density of road network is concentrated in the eastern part of the country. There is limited development of roadways in the forested and swampy lands of Amazon River Basin. Waterways have been developed on a commercial basis in the Amazon River. Boats sail from Iquitos in Peru to the mouth of the Amazon River. The longest waterways in the world can be navigated through these waterways, which is around 3700 kilometers. Another river important for waterways is the south-flowing Parana River. Railways have not developed very well in Brazil. Brazil has an undulating terrain and the dense forest of Amazon that is highly inaccessible. This causes difficulty in construction of rail route and had hindered the development of railways in Brazil. It is cheaper to use trains for long-distance transportation of passengers but is restricted to a few urban tourist routes. The contribution of airways is less in the transportation system of the country. Waterways are a cheap means of transport. Waterways contribute about 1% to the country's transportation. It comprises rivers, canals, backwaters and creeks. Approximately 95% of India's foreign trade moves through ocean routes. Apart from international trade, these are also used for the purpose of transportation between the islands and the rest of the country. About 85% of passenger and 70% of freight traffic are carried by roads every year. Freight and passenger transport has been facilitated due to the development of the railways. Railways are important for the growth of the Indian economy. Railway network is relatively less dense in the hill states, northeastern states, central parts of India and Rajasthan, while it is dense in the north Indian plains. Why is it so? The network of railway is dense on the northern plains of India as the area comprises of soft soil which makes the construction of railway much easier. The northern plains is important for agriculture and is densely populated. Thus, there is a high demand for railway transport in this region. Therefore, a dense network of railways has developed in the north Indian plains.
railways are very important for a vast country where distances are large. Comparative study As compared to Brazil, airways in India are more developed and the use of internal airways is also increasing. As compared to Brazil, India has a denser network of transport. Communication in Brazil Due to the vast longitudinal extent of Brazil, the difference between two extreme points is around 168 minutes or 2 hours and 48 minutes. There are different time zones in the country. Brazil has four time zones. It is behind the GMT by 2, 3, 4 or 5 hours. The red line in the map shows the GMT-03 time zone, which is considered to be the official Brazilian time or BRT. It is 3 hours behind GMT. Development of Communication in Brazil Telecommunication services in Brazil are well developed and efficient. This industry includes landlines as well as mobile services, television broadcasting, radio broadcasting and computer or internet access. Today, more than 45% of the Brazilian population has access to the internet. The telecommunications infrastructure is fairly modern, particularly in central South Brazil. However, the north and northwest are drastically less developed. Over recent years, mobile telephones have led the rapid expansion of telecommunication services in Brazil. The nature of Brazilian territory, especially landmass size and the large pockets of unpopulated and densely vegetated areas create significant impediments to the expansion and coverage of telecommunication services. Brazil is developing technology to send domestically made satellites into space with its own rockets. Communication in India India too has a large longitudinal extent. The difference between the two extreme most points is 2 hours or 120 minutes. India has only one standard time zone. The 82.5 degree east longitude is the Indian Standard Time or IST. It passes through Allahabad. It is ahead by 5 hours and 30 minutes from the Greenwich Meridian Time or GMT. With the explosion of electronic media, telecom industry has become one of the fast growing sectors. In this era of information and communication, more digitally enhanced communication devices like mobile phones internet and satellites are paving way for expansion for the wider reach of communication technology. Let's understand the difference in IST and BRT. 1. IST stands for Indian Standard Time. BRT stands for Brazilian Standard Time. 2. Followed according to 82.5 degrees East Meridian. Followed according to 45 degrees West Meridian. 3. IST is ahead of GMT. BRT is behind GMT. 4. IST is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of GMT. BRT is 3 hours behind GMT. 5. India only has one time zone. Brazil has four time zones. 6. IST is ahead of BRT by 8 hours 30 minutes. BRT is behind the IST by 8 hours 30 minutes.